at GJackX. What shocks you the most that is very rare and sought after in the retro gaming collector communities? For example, Earthbound has become, has become, became, or the Hori N64 controller. Things of that nature. What system slash game slash peripherals? So Ian, in your experience, what has shocked you that it's become sought after? Rental cases. They're not screwing with me? No, rental cases, like, I think it's cool, but the when, original rental cases for like Nintendo games with but, like a sticker on it telling how to play it. No, like the system rental cases. Oh, the the, the ones that only crazy assholes like me go for. Uh, the the two people I know of who love rental cases are you and Jay. And it it. But it, that's not widespread though. That's only that's very. But they do. People. But there are people who do, and it, I mean they did go up in price, and that was just something that I thought was incredible. Well, I'm whatever. For a few. I know. <laughs> but it, that was just something that I mean, it, it isn't just you two. You two are the two that I think of the most when I think of rental cases. Jay's done way too much research on the on research that. is fascinating. But it was just uh, that was just something that like struck me completely. Like I was like, really, this is something that's like high in demand. Well, for me, it's practical because it's the best way to store a system. Sure, you throw them in a fucking box, or you have a cool little. I can go, hey, Ian, you want me to bring over my Saturn in the case? Right. I, to me, it just made sense. Yeah. I hate to say it. And now I amassed like 25 of them. I only need like three more and I'm done with like all the ones that we know that exist, which is kind of scary to think about. <laughs> That's that, insane. Yeah. Um, I, you talk. I got I to gotta sift through my brain here because everything I, is weird to me that is collectible at this point. No, but that it has become sought after. You didn't think would ever get yeah. collectible. I didn't think that would be. I, yeah. I mean, I mean, there's people that collect like the organizers in the box, but not many people go for that. There's only a few crazy people. You know, I mean, on a huge level, I don't know. Fucking common Nintendo games, full sets. That's weird to you. At the end of the day, yes. When I look at like an entire full set, I guess no. I, I collecting in a, I don't I, talk. <laughs> this was geared towards you. Uh, what is sh uh, well, cl uh, collecting sealed games that's never caught on like, like wildfire. That always was like strange to me. Just on its surface, we know why we've gone through it because you're not, you can't access the, the goodies of it in right. any way. It's sort of entombed, and at that point, you're not really collecting video games anymore. You're collecting, you're collecting like video game, a ferma, because sure. you can't get to the game. So to me, there's no difference as having the box to display. Buy a fucking box or get a box copy with a game inside versus this. like what's the? There's no material difference besides cellophane. I can't express that enough. There's no material difference. Yeah. Is there? No. No, there's not. It's pristine. It's untouched. Okay, so? So what? You got a jar of Hellman's from 78? That's been untouched? <laughs> I'd rather have the new one that you can open in. I don't use mayo anymore. I've kind of gotten off the mayo track the past few years. Mustard is always still king to me. The yeah, mustard is the best. And mustard and relish on, on a hot dog. Don't ever throw that ketchup shit at me. What? What's other, what, is, what else has shocked me in particular? I don't know. Some systems have shot me that people started collecting for. Uh, it shot me that people got into TurboGrafx-16 ever. I don't care. that. Well, they moved on from NES, but the fact that it was a system that no one had. No one had it. No one had it. And people started collecting it and driving the price up just because they, they wanted to get into it. Master System never really caught on, though. Because um, no one had that either. More people had that than the TurboGrafx, but people didn't want it. For some reason, the little Hue cards, I think, what people liked about the TurboGrafx. Well, oh, I think they liked it because of the mystery of it. I mean, enough people I, knew about the Sega I, Master System, but didn't. I'm not going to. I don't usually toot my own horn about opening things up to people. I did open up people to learn about the TurboGrafx 16 through my few NES Punk videos. I did. My, you, are you giving me. I, really? Yeah. You, you know how many views my Christmas video got back in 2010? I, so, I. Okay. Ha, okay, you keep talking while I, I see how many views that's gotten. You're okay. just trying to pass this dead question off to me. dead did, question you're the one who wanted to answer this oh i just agreed with whatever you were saying okay i i mean i i was trying to think i, I i'm sure i have an answer uh, to this i just haven't had a chance a path in NES punk christmas which i somehow wrote shot and edited in one week because mm -hmm. i was a fucking madman uh eight years ago uh -huh. in manic Two hundred seventy-two thousand views okay so when people search for that probably or watch that they're like well i didn't know this was a fucking system I'm not saying I, it, wasn't, it wasn't just me. Why he goes on that big? It, it's not nothing, as Frank would say. It's, that's all I'm saying. 
So because before that, no one knew what it was. Okay, I'll shut the fuck up. People think I have a big ego. Shut up. Mahjong games. I wasn't expecting Mahjong games you to take off that? the way they, no, yeah, they, they took off. They've really taken off. Yeah, they've taken off hugely. So merchandise wasn't really a thing before. Video game merchandise was not a thing for the I most mean, part. I guess I, w- I, w- I, w- I would have you know said something like I was kind of thinking that. It's a lot of the merchandise like and, and smaller stuff that I would not have expected. I kind of thought it would have stuck maybe more to games i wasn't expecting um and it's it's the stuff that i've actually come to find more interesting uh but i wasn't expecting so much of the documentation to take off and and stuff like that was it taken is it really taken off for collecting or just people want to acquire to preserve well i mean if we're going to talk about just mainstream collecting stuff stuff that's hit mainstream none of it really surprises me sure none of it because it's just the natural evolution. Once evolution. You, once you start collecting something, it's very easy to bleed from one system into another system. To go from loose games to complete games. Even to go from complete games into sealed games. It may not make sense to us, but I can easily see how that all happens. I can easily see how it goes from Nintendo into even Turbo Graphics or Nintendo into Sega Master System or Super. Um, or, or, or Super. Um, there's nothing really that weird to me about how um, the Earth uh, about how Earthbound became popular. It just needed time to be discovered. As people get into these systems, these things are going to be discovered. There's always going to be games that were less appreciated back in their time that were good games that are going to be found out that are good and people are going to want them again it happened with it's not just earthbound earthbound is like a prime example but we talked about it or there was a question i think that maybe we didn't discuss but um you know it happened with all rpgs all the rpgs got bigger once oh, RPGs... that, was, that was a conversation okay we, we, we did do that about the, why the rpgs are sought after. okay I, I i couldn't remember if we actually did throw that question learn the, the podcast time. ian learn uh, it love it watch it <laughs> i don't want to listen to myself talk um <laughs> i really don't a lot of people might agree uh so and same with the Hori on 64 controller like it's that was a, a weird because i don't think most people know that exists but it's a so. good controller so as soon as that gets out there and people know it makes sense sure. to me so i got a the, couple of them. the things that become popular in collecting are generally become popular for a reason and that's why the things that become real niche with collecting niche, niche whatever it's niche niche no it's niche niche yeah niche um hundred dollars of the Hori controller for a wow it, it doesn't None of it to me is surprising anymore, I guess. I, I Maybe I've just been trained at this point to realize that everything is collectible to someone. Yeah, for the most part. As I look at my TurboGrafx uh, coaster behind you. <laughs> That's a great coaster. <laughs> I was I really packed that, probably not as well as I should, but I packed it well. You know, you sneezed at it 20 minutes ago. 